What's up guys? Nick Erlick here with the Lean Life Revolution and today we're talking about how to look ripped in the gym. But we're not talking about stuff like workouts or nutrition today. We're talking about something much more important. The art of the cutoff t-shirt. Now you might say, Nick, what's so hard about cutting the sleeves off a t-shirt? Well, it's not that easy. Just like anything else, there's an art to it. A lot like playing the piano or going tanning just enough that it doesn't look like you go tanning. There are specific ways to do it without looking like an idiot. We'll get a couple more of these. Now there is an art form to this. Cut off the sleeves too far out, the shirt's gonna come off your shoulders like this, and you're gonna end up looking like Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat, which isn't a great look without the mask and the karate abilities. Now, cut the sleeves too far in, and well, that gets weird really quick. So I'm gonna show you this really easy technique that you can use to cut the sleeves off your shirt to look like a gym boss and not a gym noob. Check this out. All right, so here's what you're gonna wanna to do to have the appropriate cutoff t-shirt. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to pick a shirt to cut the sleeves off of. It should be something that's a little bit weathered. You don't wanna do this with a brand new t-shirt. If you cut the sleeves off a brand new t-shirt, you look a lot like the guy at the concert who put on the t-shirt when he bought it at the souvenir stand. Don't be that guy, not a good look. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a nice weathered t-shirt, this is my Rude Boy Muay Thai t-shirt, so it even looks kinda of tough. It's gonna be even tougher when I get the sleeves off this thing. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to find a spot on one side just about three to four finger lengths off the collar, okay? When you cut it this far in, it's gonna make your shoulders and your traps look huge, which makes you look awesome, which is gonna make you cool. That promise you that happens. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start three or four finger lengths off the collar, and we're gonna make our starting incision right here. It's important that you treat this like an operation because just like open heart surgery, I think this has an equal level of importance. That's just my opinion. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cut all the way down to just around here on the shirt. And I'm gonna do that nice and easy. I don't care if the shirt's laid out totally flat. If it's a little uneven, that can be kind of cool. But the next thing we're gonna do is what's gonna be really important to the appropriately cut off t-shirt so you don't look like a real idiot. Once again, just making this all the way down here, making sure I don't kink that up because that would look really lame. And boom, operation was a success. We have one of the sleeves off this shirt. Now, here's where this technique gets really handy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sleeve that I just cut off and I'm actually gonna use it as a template on the other side of the shirt. So I lay it on this sleeve, and I'm gonna be able to find the exact same spot on the other side to where to start cutting this one. So I make a little incision there, boop, start that off. Then I figure out where I'm gonna cut to, looks about right there, boop. Now I have my guideline, and I'm just gonna hack this sleeve off like a diseased limb in the Civil War. Nice and easy, take this all the way down to that spot, you don't want to go too far down because they're going to be showing off a lot of belly. And unless you're one of those dudes who has 2 million followers on Instagram because he's got abs like bars of hotel soap, not a great look. So we have those off. We have an appropriately cut off shirt and it took me around 30 seconds to do so. All right, so as you can see, I got the sleeves cut off my shirt. I got some appropriate hangage here without going too far down into my stomach, and I'm ready to hit the gym. I'm gonna grab my gym bag and my gallon jug full of colored liquid, and I'm gonna hit the gym hard, looking like a boss. So check this out. If you like this video, subscribe for more, and do this right now. Click this little icon in the top corner of your screen, and we're gonna send you our free ab training video about the five best abdominal training exercises that are gonna help you get the abs you want. Click on that to get the abs that you're looking for right now. Unless you're not really looking for defined abs. In which case, it's a bold move. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for joining the revolution. We'll see you guys right back here.